my name is Emily Robert Wong, and I am a junior and president of the Tech Innovation Club at Lycée Français à Beauvais, which is a French high school in San Francisco. Yes, that means that this year, Tech Innovation has already started to go global. The world is flat, and this is the first year that the Lycée Français à Beauvais has competed in the Tech Innovation Challenge, and I'm really proud that one of our teams is here tonight at Nationals. Good luck to all the teams here. Um, Moving on, growing up in the heart of Silicon Valley, I often just took technology for granted. I never really thought about hardware design or software programming or really the nuts and bolts of how technology came to be. I have a multicultural heritage and I speak four languages, but the language of technology was completely foreign to me. Technovation changed all of that. Technovation Challenge really brings the girls from start to finish through a full experience of what it is to be a part of a technological startup. After the intensive 10-week course, I truly was ready to be not just a consumer of technology, but a creator of technology. When I was 14 years old, three of my classmates and I won the very first Technovation Challenge. It's hard to believe that that was only three years ago. Only in Silicon Valley could this kind of exponential growth happen. As I look around the auditorium tonight, I feel more strongly than ever that we are the future of technology. The statistics are daunting. Most startups fail, and 95 out of 100 are led by men. Hmm. I wonder, are those two statistics related? <laughs> anyway, I'm so glad that one of those five women, five women, sorry, on who decided that those statistics needed to change, and I'm so grateful to the entire tech community, men and women, for their support of tech innovation. In Chinese, there's an expression that says, nu ren ban gen tian, which means women, and women hold up half of the sky. Technovation recognizes this, and it recognizes that technology needs to the talents of both men and women. While the harsh reality is that most startups fail, Technovation teaches success. Research on serial entrepreneurship shows that the younger entrepreneurs start, the more likely they are to try again, whether they succeed or fail the first time. Most startups don't get, even get funding, but for those that do, success breeds success. And by success, I mean an IPO. The rate of success for entrepreneurs who have previously succeeded with a new venture is 27%. Success with first-time entrepreneurs is 14%. But interestingly, failure also breeds success. Success for entrepreneurs who have previously failed is 18%, significantly higher than for first-time entrepreneurs, and serial entrepreneurs are more likely to get funding from the same VCs that funded their first venture at an even better price, but better terms, sorry, the second time around, even if their first startup failed. One of the first computers programmers and the inventor for the basis of COBOL, Rear Admiral Grace Hopper, gave this advice. A ship in the port is safe, but that is not what ships are built for. Sail out to sea and do new things. Win or lose, every participant benefits from tech innovation. Technovation is more than just a competition. It's about building a community, and it's about changing the world. It's not about one team winning, it's about lifting everyone up. Perhaps even more important than the skills I learned through Technovation are the connections I made with the tech community. The mentors that have come forward and encouraged me to be bold and set sail and do new things. I have developed three more working apps, two for Michelle Obama's Healthy Kids Initiative and one with an ecology team. And I'm currently working professionally for Locate, doing advanced wrapping, and um, data analysis for cell phone and GPS data testing. The, ja <laughs> the Japanese have a saying that goes, the nail that sticks up gets hammered down. But here at Technovation, we say hammer up. Rather than hammering others down, Technovation uses competition to level everyone up, encouraging the natural talent of all girl participants to show other girls that they can do it too. I recently visited one of my Technovation mentors, Emoji Miller, at the UC Berkeley International Computer Science Institute AI Lab. Her work on hip hop and metaphor and artificial intelligence is fascinating, and it's reassuring to see that if we participate in technology's creation, the brave new digital world will not just be a man's world, but it will reflect the strength, diversity, creativity, and talents of 100%, not just half the world. If you want to be a part of the results, we have to be a part of the process. And to change the search results, we have to know how to write the algorithm. At last week's regional competition in San Francisco, the keynote speaker quoted Robert L. Peters, design creates culture, culture shapes values. Values determine the future. The future of technology is in our hands, so let's all hammer up. Thank you.